everyone! Welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this reversible beanie. For this project, I'm going to be using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. And this is just the Big Twist Value brand. And what we're going to do is we're going to crochet two strands of yarn together like they are one. And if you want your two strands of yarn to be the same color, but you only have one skein, then just go ahead and divide it in half. We'll also be using a size K or 10.5 crochet hook. So go ahead and grab both ends of your yarn and for the entire project we are going to crochet these together like they are one strand. So go ahead and begin with a magic circle and inside of it we're going to place 11 double crochets. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I'll have my stitch tutorials listed down there. And for this pattern we're going to be following a continuous loop pattern which means we won't be starting and stopping each individual row, but instead it's going to act like more of a spiral. So you might find it helpful to grab a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker to keep up with the first stitch in every row. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place two front post stitches in every stitch in your row. And in case you're unfamiliar with how to do that, I'm going to show you. So go ahead and yarn over and then you're going to find your first post, which is right here and it sort of acts as the stem of your stitch and it might be helpful to sort of pull it up a little bit. So go ahead and yarn over and then you're going to insert your crochet hook around that post. So kind of going from the front to the back and then back around to the front again. Then you're going to yarn over and drop your post. Then yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop two more loops. So go ahead and repeat that in that same exact stitch placing a second front post stitch. And then you're just going to want to follow that pattern placing two front post stitches in every stitch in your row. And when you get to the end of your row you should have 22 stitches. And the pattern for the next row is going to be to place one front post stitch in your first stitch and then two front post stitches in your second stitch. And you're just going to repeat that alternating pattern going all the way around your row and when you get done you should have 33 stitches. And the pattern for the next row is going to be to place one front post stitch in your first two stitches and then to place two front post stitches in that third stitch. And you're just going to want to repeat that going all the way around your row and when you get done you should have 44 stitches. And the pattern for the next row is going to be to place one front post stitch in your first three stitches and then to place two front post stitches in your fourth stitch. And you're just going to want to repeat that going all the way around your row and when you get done you should have 55 stitches. And that was our last row of increasing and so from here all we're going to do is place one front post stitch in each stitch in our row. And we're going to keep repeating that while we build the body of our beanie. I went ahead and added 10 rows of placing one front post stitch in every stitch in my row. And we are going to decrease for one row. So for this row what we're going to do is we're going to place one single crochet in our first three stitches. And then from here we're going to single crochet stitch four and stitch five together. So to do that insert your crochet hook up underneath stitch four and yarn over and pull through. Then insert your crochet hook up underneath stitch five and yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your crochet hook. So you're just going to repeat that pattern going all the way around your row and when you get done you should have 44 stitches. And the pattern for the next row is going to be to place one single crochet in each stitch in the row. And we're just going to repeat that for multiple rows to build the brim of our beanie. I went ahead and placed six rows of placing one single crochet in each stitch in my row. And so to finish off this beanie I'm just going to place a slip stitch in my next 10 stitches. And once you're done placing your slip stitches, then you're just going to cut and tie off your yarn. And I like to weave my tail in the direction that I was crocheting for a few stitches and then up the inside of the beanie. And once you're done hiding your tails, you can see that this is what the other side looks like. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.